Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? Gintama is one of my all-time favorite shows, and when I first heard it was going to be adapted to live action, I was skeptical at first. The Japanese film industry is usually really good at getting casting that look their part, but the acting and script is not always as good. Obviously, if the actors don't look their part, people wouldn't even go to watch it in the first place. So I don't blame them for putting so much emphasis on getting accurate casting. Gintama has a huge cast, and to get each of them right is not an easy task. In this upcoming live-action adaptation, pretty much everyone from the anime is going to be in the movie. And so far, people are loving the cast. They've been slowly releasing the cast over the last few months to build the hype, and just yesterday, they finally revealed Hijikata, Kondo, and Sogo. And since we pretty much have all the important characters revealed, let's finally see how they compare to the original. Starting with the newest, Sogo Okita. This one's got the look down pat. Face shapes are similar as well, and the bazooka is perfect. He's got the Sogo expression mastered already, and all that's left is the chemistry between him and Hijikata. 10 out of 10. Next up is Hijikata. Hair is clean yet messy. Check. Cigarette? Check. Awkward eye expression that looks like he's gotta take a dump? Eh, pass. But that 75,000 likes on this tweet is pretty impressive, so 9 out of 10. Next is Kondo. This one is a little iffy for me, I don't know if it's the picture, but he seems much older than Hijikata and Sogo, when they're supposed to be pretty similar in age. 6 out of 10. Next onto Ginsan's crew. Ginsan's hair is perfect, but we really don't have enough information to judge this one, as he didn't really show us the signature derp look of Ginsan from the posters or trailers. Like, can you imagine this guy picking his nose and not be disgusting? But for Ginsan's serious look, I guess this passes, so 8 out of 10 for now. Now onto Shinpachi. This one must have been hard for them, to find someone plainer than the glasses he's wearing. But I think they hit jackpot on this one. The hair cannot be more plain than what it is, and his derp eyes complement it perfectly. 10 out of 10. Kagura. Now I'm kinda on the fence on this one. They could've casted anyone with that wig and the costume, and it would've probably worked out as Kagura doesn't have many special features, aside from her big eyes and a round face. So I'm just gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 for the costume hair designer. Now onto Katsura. A noble face, strong jawline, and serious eyes, 9 out of 10. Now how about Elizabeth? This one is obvious. That's not the real Elizabeth. His mouth is not crooked enough. But it's Elizabeth, so it's 10 out of 10. Next up is Tay, Shinpachi's sister. Again, Tay's design doesn't have a lot of distinctive features, so it's hard to judge. But 8 out of 10 for beautiful teeth. Lastly, onto Shinsuke's crew. Shinsuke gets 10 out of 10 for being perfect. Nizo Okada gets 9 out of 10 for not having gray hair, but still awesomely accurate hair. Kijima gets 10 out of 10 because reasons. But Henpeta Takechi, did the casting director get his intern to cast this one? Like, where are his eyes? I don't mean that he has small eyes, but Takechi's whole character design is based off of his weird looking, big, fat, empty eyes. And this guy has normal eyes. 5 out of 10. Now last one, Gengai gets 10 out of 10 for sick looking goggles. Alright, now did I miss anyone? I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anyone important. But anyways, what do you think of the casting for the upcoming Gintama movie that's coming out this summer? As usual, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and you will get the latest things people are talking about in Japan right in your inbox. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.